Hello everyone, welcome to Cause Streams TV. I'm Cause, and I just want to say a quick thank you for spending some time checking out my videos. If you like what you see, hit that like and subscribe button as it goes a long way in letting me know what you want to see more of. Now, let's jump into the video. Welcome back to Cause Streams TV, everyone. How has your week been? We just finished another fortified. Week four is done. We are moving on to week five. So how are we looking last week? week as i mentioned there's a lot going on we had diablo coming out we had the uh, mop remix coming out and then we also had retail keys that we needed to do and i spent a lot of time on mop remix unfortunately i don't have a ton of footage i was mainly playing it uh, either on my laptop downstairs because it's really cool because you can just level right so you can run around and level so i kind of like i sit on the couch i hop pop on the laptop i watch some tv in the background i've got my dog with me my cats hang out so that's kind of what i'm doing and it's a lot of fun right now playing with tinker gems getting some gear i ran my first raid at 26 like 26 um level level 26 and honestly it was it was fun like we just we blasted through it i i made two characters i made a cult here and druid so i can play with a friend of mine it's called cause tree rage and then i also made a light forge drenai paladin and i'm playing ret and feral uh mainly because um i felt like if i didn't make a spec that could i could also tank on i would feel naked so that's why i picked a druid and a paladin um and then i'm also playing dps just because i rarely dps and i thought this was a good time to kind of level a new class up learn the buttons learn the mechanics learn uh the different talents i can use and what better the way to do it at than as you're leveling up so that's kind of why i'm playing those classes they've been a lot of fun so far the the paladin i think is level 30 and uh, 30 or th between 30 and 35 and then the druid's about 21 so i do plan on this week getting to 70 on the paladin i'm gonna go really hard on that right so that was the plan there we played a little bit of diablo 4 uh I hopped on with a friend of mine uh, after the day after the release i made a necromancer because summon minion necromancer builds were s tier and i I've always liked those, like I said last week. So I did make that and I was kind of playing it. It, it was it was a lot of fun. It was blasting. Uh, now that I've reached uh, tier three, I've got some sacred gear and I've been pushing out some content there. And it's it's actually been a lot of fun. Uh, I managed to get level 50 and I've just kind of been, you know, throwing my minions around and, and gripping the monsters in and just running Helltide. So far, I'm enjoying it. Leveling seems very easy compared to what it used to be. And there have been some fantastic quality of life changes. One of the greatest quality of life changes they've added is I can now run around on my horse in town, but not only can I run, I can sprint. And as silly as that sounds, previously in town, you could not sprint around. You were stuck running at normal speed, and it'll tell you you just can't do that. But now I can sprint around the town, get to where I need to go. And some of the towns are spaced out really poorly. So being able to do that is fantastic. The other quality of life change that they've done is when it comes to working with uniques, I am now able, or not uniques, legendaries. When you destroy a legendary, it actually gives you the aspect on it directly into your aspect codex. So if I just do all junk, right there, you see aspect unlocked, and it moves everything in the codex. That is such a big quality of life change. and so welcoming. Um, yeah, so that was really cool to see that they've made these changes. And yeah, it's it's been fun just blowing up minions, and just sending my minions out, watching everything get destroyed. It's been it's been so 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 much fun. Right, so that's the one thing that um, has changed the Apple Four. I'm I'm enjoying it. I do want to keep playing. I maybe I'll actually hit 100. My highest is level 84 from last season, so I'm hoping maybe I can hit 100 and see how that feels. It just kind of blast some stuff from there. So that was Moth Remix and Diablo 4. Now let's get back into retail content. On the Monk, we went from 515 to 520. Mainly what we did is just we got upgrades. Uh, so I fully upgraded my Farax Trinket. I fully upgraded some of my Mythic pieces. Some of the heroic items I'm still using. So yeah, all of that got completely updated. We do have some other stuff we got from runs that we were doing. Ah, yes, yeah, so we got the Decoration of Flame. Just something to play around with. It's not a very good trinket, but why not? We also got Whispering Incarnate. So I am now the tank in Raid that runs a Whispering Incarnate. And the one cool thing during Raid last week, actually, we ended up getting... 
at 100 parse on Kurog Grim Totem. Uh, I checked this later. Of course, once I kind of everything locked in, it was about a 99. But uh, it was a 100 at the time of the kill, and I was actually the 11th monk in the world during that time to have this parse. It was really, really cool to see that. I was really excited. Those are some of my mythic parses. It just it felt really good. Once I got some gear and got some items, I was able to do damage and raid and actually get some parses. That was pretty cool. In terms of the keys we got completed, we did push IO, IO up a little bit. We were at 2561 around there last week. We are now at 2715. Uh, there will be a video of a 13 no coup that actually came out this afternoon. I'll throw a link up to the, in the top right of your screen so for you to take a look at. But we did get our 13 no coup done. We got a bunch of 10s and 11s done. Uh, we got a we two chested or three chested in Azure Vault. It was, it was a decent week. I didn't push a lot. I think I did only about five keys on the Monk just to get something done, right? But we were able to successfully push IO, and the Monk feels way better than he did a couple weeks ago. Obviously, the gear does help, but it's just survivability is much better now. There are still some keys that hit a lot harder than others. Notharis is one of those keys, and Uldaman is one of those keys where the damage that you take from mobs, just it's significantly higher than any other key Right, so I still need to time these two. Uh, this week, I'm going to look at pushing up my 9s and 8s to 10s or higher. That should bring us up over 2750. So that is the plan for at least the Monk this week to get his IO up. And moving on from that, let's dig into his vault. We're going to open it as Windwalker. I don't think there's much I can get from Brew that I really need. He will have all three vault slots for raid uh, as Mythic. So what could we potentially get from last week's raid that's worth staying in Brewmaster? Trinkets here. Spiteful Boon. Spiteful Storm. This would be the main one, but I think I can get that as Windwalker as well. Yep. And uh, Manic Refresh. You know what? Let's, let's open it in Windwalker and see what kind of uniqueness we can get out of our vault. All right. So Akawamana's... Legacy, we have a two-handed weapon. How does this look? Okay, okay, not bad transmog. We have 525 tier mythic track chest piece, which we already have. We have the controlled current technique trinket, which we already have our fist trinkets or better trinkets. We've got a waste at mythic track with a socket, but again, I need to craft my other waste. And then we have another chest piece. So this week on the monk, we are looking at sockets. And to start the week, we have a 13 ruby life bowls, tyrannical, volcanic, and sanguine. I think that's possible. The widest selection. And next up, we have the blood death knight. Uh, last week, he I ran him very late. I just needed to get one key done, so I at least got a vault. I ended up running a tried running a bracken hide which fell apart after the third boss we tried running a ruby life pools which had a couple disconnects from a friend of mine so we couldn't finish that and then funny enough i got into a key with the kalamazi warlock so i ran with kalamazi uh we did a eight azure vault which we three chested that was kind of cool i'll post a little clip here just because so, i swear if i wasn't recording this you guys wouldn't have thought it would ha happened but yeah, it happened. I was on a stream. It was really cool to, to, to see that happen and be a part of someone else's key that is an actual, like, decent streamer. Because you always see it in keys, how they join pugs and people join. And, you know, sometimes you don't even know about it. Um, and they don't even know who they are. But in this case, I knew him. I've watched his videos. So it was, it was really exciting for me anyway. Kind of silly, but it was really cool. So, yeah, there's some footage in the background. Uh, but let's take a look at the Death Knight. When it comes to his gear, like I said, I only ran the one key, so there's still no updates. He's still 508. He got the Manic Reef Torch last week. And this was this was kind of fun to play with. I did uh, LFR Raid trying to get Feralax. Still no luck. Still trying to get that legendary. But Manic Reef Torch is a lot of fun just to, just to keep popping. Even in keys, I kept using it. And as when somebody died, it was, it was fun, right? So, yeah, it's a fun trinket to play with just to see the numbers, especially on a Blood DK. Um, other than that, no IO boost because we only rate the 8, which I already had a 9. So we're just going to jump into opening his vault. We're going to open it in Unholy Spec. And let's see what we get. Oh, wow, that is a significant upgrade Four, from 470 bracers to 519. Let's see how that looks on the eye level chart. 
So we are at 508, and if we throw on our bracers, 511.5. That is kind of neat. On the DK, yeah, I, I may or may not play him this week. I do want to get his eye level up, but he is, he is, I still am enjoying the DK, like pushing the keys that I did. I wasn't significant, really the problem that I was, the issue was having the DPS kind of fall over, the healer DC'd, other people DC'd, right? So it wasn't that anyone was playing poorly or something specifically went wrong. Uh, we just, you know, just unfortunate luck with people DCing or, you know, suddenly someone randomly pulling things that they shouldn't happens in any key, right? But I do, I'll, I'll try to push on him a little more, see if I can get his IO and his level, eye level up. I may or may not rate on him, we'll see. The DK is kind of that up in the air character. He is geared, he is fun, he feels fine. Okay. Yeah, so I'll, I'll let you guys, you guys will see if that happens. Outside of that, what is the week going to look like? I plan on hitting level 70 on at least my Light Forge Paladin in Mop Remix. Uh, I heard there's going to be some scaling changes this week, so hopefully that's fixed. I plan on most likely trying to get some more time in a D4. I'm enjoying Mop Remix so much right now, I may not even play D Diablo 4, but Diablo 4 is a whole new game with with this new season. Uh, I do plan on getting the Monk's IO at least past 2750, and then I'm hoping to maybe get a mount. I still need to do King's Rest, I need to do Underrod, I need to do Mogushan Vaults, and I still need the Siege of Orgrimmar mount, so there's four mounts that I can try to aim for, but uh, one of those I can get from mop remix if i run enough and grind so that is the plan that's what the week is looking like i'm looking forward to just kind of playing relaxing i'm going to try to get some more footage for you guys i want to post some more stuff just to kind of help maybe post some more interesting things i don't know what that looks like yet but i want to post some more content for you guys at least get a video out every week that's more than just the vault video and more than just dungeons so i'm going to try to put my creative brain cells together and have them uh rub out an idea Anyway, I hope your vaults were plentiful and you've had a great week. Good luck this week with your pushing, achievements, or anything you plan on doing. Have a fantastic week, you guys. I will see you on the next one. Peace out. All right, and that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, hit that like and subscribe button to show me that you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next week.